Is this the best business class airline in South America? Come along with us and we'll find out together. Apakah ini pesawat bisnis kelas terbaik di Amerika Selatan? Mau tahu? Ayo ikuti kita. We're Ronnie and Jeremy and we're digital nomads traveling to every country in the world. After living and traveling in Southeast Asia for the past two years, we finally jetted across the globe to another continent. This year we are exploring South America and we have already visited the Andes Mountains and the Caribbean Sea. As always, we hope you'll come along with us for the ride. Because you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us, you just gotta have fun. Our overnight journey with Latam Airlines begins here, in the historical city of Cusco, Peru. Perjalanan kita bersama Latam Airlines dimulai dari sini, di kota bersejarah Cusco, Peru. Bienvenidos back to the channel, YouTube fam. Ronnie and I are about to start another epic travel day here in Peru. We are at the Cusco Airport and we are going to be taking several flights today that will take us to a new country in South America. And chances are, if you clicked on this thumbnail, you are interested in our Latam Airlines business class flights. However, we're going to throw in a bonus flight today. We are starting our travels with an economy class flight with Latam Airlines. And as always, we're going to show you everything these flights have to offer. We're going to take you through the airports and show you all the lounges that the airports have. And of course, we hope you'll stick around for the entire journey today because we are starting in Cusco, Peru. Then we are flying over to Lima, Peru, and then Santiago, Chile, before we make it to our final destination of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And as always, it's going to be a long journey. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, here's flight one. We're on our Airbus A319. And this is our first flight. We're in premium economy. I didn't know that I booked that, but it's the same for the top, the front three rows. Get premium economy. This should be a one hour and a half flight from Cusco to Lima. And it's not impressive. It's just so-so. Remarkable things so far. Leg room is plentiful. No TV screens and scratchy windows. So takeoff and landing will probably have lots of lines in it. And other than that, it's a pretty tight plane. Looks like it's going to be pretty full. We expect the business class flights to be better. Ronnie and I have landed 
here in Lima. We have two more flights to go, but uh, everything was uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy yes. on our economy flight. We were actually in premium economy. I didn't know we booked that. Flight took off on time. Six minutes later, they were serving drink service, and nine minutes after that, drink service had finished. The entire flight was about an hour long, so nothing really to report. It was pretty boring. We did have a nice, cute lady sitting beside us. That was her first flight ever, and she was uh, an elderly grandma, so that was pretty cool to see. She seemed to enjoy her first flight ever, so that was fun to sit beside her as she enjoyed that. Now we have uh, two more business class flights to go. And we'll check back in with you after we get our luggage and check it in with the Tom Airlines again. Okay, YouTube fam, Ronnie and I made it through uh, security. We got our bags checked again. Now we are on our first business class trip today. We will have two business class flights with the Tom Airlines. Unfortunately, they were not able to combine both tickets. The desk counter agent was not very helpful. He did not want to check our bags all the way to Sao Paulo, Brazil today. So we will have to collect our bags in Santiago or at least go to the transfer desk and maybe they can help us get our new boarding passes and uh, re-ticket our bags all the way to Brazil for us. Now Ronnie and I are in the uh, restaurant here in the International Terminal in Lima at the airport and it's good because it'd be a priority pass. There are two restaurants in this terminal that you can get free food at. Basically, you get $27 per person to use on your priority pass membership, which is great for us because we're only two people. Gets a total of $54 to use at this restaurant before we go into a lounge. And I'm not sure if uh, Latam has their own lounge. They did not give me an invitation at check-in. Uh, the service was quite lacking, so I uh, hope Latam's onboard in-flight service is much better today. They're off to a rocky start in terms of the business class products, so uh, we'll see how it goes. But we're going to have uh, our food here, and then we're going to go try to find a lounge. Ronnie and I have finished up here at the Lima International Airport. We went to the uh, Al Hanak VIP Lounge, and we also went to the Somak VIP Lounge. Both were quite large, had uh, all the amenities you'd expect in a lounge. However, they were also quite full, and the uh, food was not the best, and a lot of facilities were broken, such as the cappuccino machines, so we had that to deal with. I know, first world problems. Now we're gonna hop into a queue and try to get onto our uh, plane as soon as possible. We do have priority boarding, so maybe business class can go ahead and board now. This is. Our first business class segment with Latam Airlines was on a Boeing 787-900 from Lima, Peru down to Santiago, Chile. Penerbangan pertama kita bersama Latam Business Class Boeing 787-900 dari Lima, Peru ke Santiago, Chile. Ronnie and I have boarded our Boeing 787-9 with Latam Airlines Business Class direct to Santiago, Chile. But we're not staying there. We're connecting in Santiago with another Latam Airlines Business Class flight. So if you want to see the comparisons with the two crews and the two different planes and the routes, go ahead and stick around because we will be taking another flight from Santiago to Garulas Airport in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we'll be staying there. But we'll be arriving later tonight, so we have some hours ahead of us here on the 787. So we're just going to kick back and enjoy the soft service on board. And we're also going to uh, watch a couple of movies, I think. As always, we will remind you right now, if you want to follow along with our photos and our stories, go over to our Instagram, at Kentucky Abroad. You can follow us on the gram. You can follow us on TikTok. 
You can follow us on Facebook or you can what, Ronnie? Follow us on Altry. Once on board, Ronnie and I got acquainted with our business class seat and Ronnie was ready to open the Latam branded amenities kit. Aku dan Jeremy sudah di dalam pesawat dan sudah duduk di kursi kita. Nah, ini adalah amenity kit dari Latam. Amenity kitnya terlihat agak murah dan terbuat dari barang daur ulang. Once we got comfortable, our flight attendant came to our seat to ask for our preferences for the meal service. Setelah kita semua duduk di kursi masing-masing, pramugari datang dan bertanya untuk menu makan siang kita. The scheduled flight time from Lima, Peru down to Santiago, Chile was scheduled for three and a half hours. So after we placed our meal orders, Ronnie and I began to investigate the in-flight entertainment on Latam Airlines. And of course, you can never go wrong with a Tom Hanks film. The in-flight headphones were quite comfortable. They fit over the ear and they were noise canceling. Schedule penerbangan dari Lima Peru ke Santiago Chile kurang lebih tiga setengah jam. Setelah kita pilih menu makan siang, aku dan Jeremy mulai memilih tontonan film dan udah pasti kita nggak akan dibuat kecewa dengan film dari Tom Hanks. Headphonesnya cukup nyaman dan pas di telinga dan juga meredam suara dari luar. The business class cabin for Latam Airlines is quite spacious on the Boeing 787 in its 222 configuration. Business class cabin di Latam Airlines Boeing 787 lumayan cukup luas dengan pengaturan tempat duduk 222. After takeoff, the Latam Airlines crew dim the lighting in the cabin and set the mood for our meal service. Setelah take off, pramugari mulai mempersiapkan dan menghidangkan makan siang untuk kita. Our starter for the lunch service was grilled prawns in a special Peruvian sauce with cherry tomatoes. For the lunch main, Ronnie ordered the grilled beef tenderloin with red wine sauce potatoes au gratin, vegetables, and fried quinoa. I decided to go with the gnocchi in tomato sauce with creamy goat cheese and roasted tomatoes. Makanan pembuka kita adalah udang panggang dengan special sauce dari Peru. Untuk menu utamanya, aku pesan tenderloin steak dengan sauce red wine, kentang gratin, salad, dan quinoa goreng. Sedangkan Jeremy pesan gnocchi sauce tomat cream keju, dan tomat panggang. The business class lavatory was unremarkable on the Boeing 787, but the live flat seat in the business class cabin was a blessing. Toilet di business classnya nggak ada yang spesial di Boeing 787 ini, tapi bersih. Sedangkan flat seatnya benar-benar keren dan nyaman. We enjoyed a couple hours of sleep in the lie flat seats in the business class cabin as we made our final approach into Santiago, Chile. Kita sempat istirahat sebentar sebelum sampai di Santiago, Chile. Check out these views of the Andes mountain range. Dan lihatlah view pegunungan Andesnya, cakep banget kan?
soon we were on the ground in Santiago, Chile, and Ronnie and I had to race to the transfer desk to recheck our bags onward to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Setelah kita sampai di Santiago, Chile, aku sama Jeremy langsung menuju ke transfer desk untuk check in tas bagasi kita ke tujuan akhir Sao Paulo, Brazil. All right, Ronnie and I have made it through airport security here in Santiago, Chile. Chile. The only negative so far with Latam Airlines today is that the uh, front desk agents in Lima would not combine our two separate business class tickets. Therefore, we had to uh, get a transfer desk agent to change the destination for our bags here in Santiago, Chile. She supposedly did that. She called somebody. I hope so. <laughs> she gave them some codes and uh, supposedly they're going to send our luggage on to Sao Paulo, Brazil. So we'll see. As far as our first Latam Airlines business class flight, that was pretty good today. Hope you enjoyed the tour on board. We really enjoyed the service. The soft product on board was good. The hard product was pretty good as well. And uh, the flight attendant also nice. Yeah, the flight attendants were great. Very helpful, very nice. Now Ronnie and I are moving on to our uh, second business class flight today with Latam Airlines. This will be an evening flight and we should land in Sao Paulo later tonight. If you have flown business class with different airlines here in South America, drop some comments down below. Let us know what your favorite business class was. And uh, yeah, I'm sure all of our viewers would love to know if uh, there's a better airline in South America than Latam. But we've had a good time so far today and uh, I'm sure all of our viewers would like to know all of your experiences. Christmas class, but the water is a different brand. Once on board, Ronnie and I did get a sneak peek of the economy class cabin on the Boeing 787 for Latam Airlines. It's in a 333 configuration. Ini adalah economy class cabin Boeing 787-800 dengan pengaturan tempat duduk 333. Now Ronnie and I have boarded our next business class flight. We are flying from Santiago, Chile to Sao Paulo, Brazil on a Boeing 787-8. Our previous flight was a Boeing 787-9. So in this video, we'll compare the differences of the uh, newer 787 product for Latam Airlines and the older configuration. Still 30 business class seats on this plane as well in a 222 configuration. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have uh, another dinner or a lunch service, not really sure. <laughs> the menu says lunch, but it's really gonna be about dinner time. So we'll see how it is. And of course, we'll show you all the uh, details for the hard product here on this Boeing 787-8, but we'll also show you the soft product as well. Much happier with our cabin, we started to explore the Boeing 787-800. Kita sangat senang dengan tempat duduk di business class di penerbangan ini. Most of the storage and seat controls for the Boeing 787-8 were the same as our previous flight. Kebanyakan tempat penyimpanan dan semua tampilan di Boeing 7878 ini sama dengan pesawat sebelumnya. However, Ronnie and I were very happy to see a different lunch menu for our flight to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Tapi aku sama Jeremy cukup senang ketika lihat menu makan siang yang sedikit berbeda dengan sebelumnya.
After we gave our meal orders to the flight attendant, Ronnie and I enjoyed a beautiful Chilean sunset as we taxied toward the runway. Setelah kita order untuk makan kita, aku sama Jeremy menikmati sunset di Chile sambil menunggu pesawat untuk take off. After takeoff, Ronnie and I gazed out the windows at the snow-capped Andes Mountains as we waited for the evening meal service. Setelah takeoff, aku sama Jeremy melihat pemandangan Gunung Andes yang bersalju di luar jendela sambil menunggu makanan dihidangkan. Tom Airlines does offer a non-stop service from Lima, Peru directly to Sao Paulo, Brazil. When we booked these two flights, the price for a non-stop service from Lima to Sao Paulo was more than double the price of two one-way tickets. This is exactly why Ronnie and I usually book one-way single tickets because it allows us to have more flexibility with our schedule. Lunch began with serrano ham with cherry tomatoes and parmesan flakes served with a leafy salad. Untuk makanan pembukanya, serrano ham, cherry tomato, keju parmesan, dan fresh leafy salad. For our mains, Ronnie chose the grilled tenderloin with chocolate sauce, potatoes au gratin with grilled vegetables. Untuk makanan utama, aku pilih tenderloin steak dengan saus coklat, kentang gratin, dan grilled vegetable. I chose to go with the walnut ricotta sorrentino with pink salt, bocconcini, basil, and toasted almonds. Jeremy pilih walnut ricotta sorrentino dengan pink salt, bocconcini, basil, dan toast almond. in Sao Paulo. You just got through immigration? Yes. The good guy at the uh, immigration desk, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, buddy. Thanks for helping us get Thank through. You. No problems. No problem. No, no more asking. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, no questions. <laughs> no just, question. Uh, letting us know our limits and yes. wishing us a good time. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how we like it. Yeah, and now, now we're gonna try to find our luggage because <laughs> the folks at Latam Airlines would not join our two tickets. Uh -huh. So in Santiago, we had to go to the transfer desk and ask them to send our bags onward to Sao Paulo. And now the moment of truth to find out if they did indeed do that. I hope so.
Johnny and I have arrived at our apartment here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, our time with Latam Airlines was uh, pretty good. We would rate their hard product and their soft product on board uh, quite good for short haul and medium haul. Both flights on the 787-800 and the 787-900 were uh, quite good. The economy flight was just so-so. Nothing really to complain about, nothing really to be excited about. But we, uh, we made it here to Sao Paulo. We will say that the only issues today flying with Latam Airlines was the ground staff. We had issues uh, checking in. They would not combine our separate tickets and therefore we had to check our bags only to Santiago, Chile. And then we had to go to the transfer desk in Santiago and hope that the ground staff there would go ahead and send those bags on to Sao Paulo. And uh, at the airport we learned they did not do that. <laughs> so. Our bags did not show up in Sao Paulo tonight, so it's the first time uh, since we've been traveling that our luggage was lost, but it turns out it wasn't really lost. They just left it in Santiago, Chile, so we have to wait for a couple days or a couple weeks or however long it takes for them to send our bags from Chile to Sao Paulo here in Brazil, and we'll, we'll see if that happens. Overall, though, we had just issues with the ground staff. Their attitude, their demeanor, they were just lacking a positive attitude that you usually find with uh, other airlines that have good customer relations. So yeah, although the experience on Latam Airlines hard product and soft product on board were good, uh, we can't say that we recommend the ground staff. We had issues in Lima, we had issues in Santiago, Chile, and we had issues on arrival here in Sao Paulo just trying to get the forms filled out. The uh, staff seemed uninterested in helping us get our luggage tonight. So that's going to do it for Ronnie and I. We are now here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is, uh, I guess, our maybe our sixth country this year as we move around South America. And uh, yeah, we uh, hope you enjoyed the experience that we had with the Tom Airlines business class and the bonus economy class flight we showed you as well. If you enjoyed this travel adventure day from Cusco, Peru, all the way to uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil via Santiago, Chile, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up on the vlog and share it with all your friends on all the social media channels. And if you enjoy world travel content and flying around the globe wherever we go, please subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so you know when our new videos are uploaded every week. But remember, you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us. You just got to have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.